today I thought I'd go through my kind of spring hairstyles. I think this time of year is when I really kind of change it up. Instead of having just a ponytail, I like to venture out more of my hair down, more interesting hairstyles because I think spring is the best time to start it because winter my hair is like will not do anything it's too cold it goes frizzy it goes curly it just won't work so spring is kind of the perfect time for me to um try out new hairstyles um sorry that this video is late i didn't do one wednesday because i was super poorly and the video that was going to go up i didn't like so yeah i was just too poorly to record again so <laughs> sorry about that guys yeah it's normally wednesdays and sundays i will be putting videos up hopefully fingers crossed i am also working full time so it's super hard to try and find time f between work because shift work is super hard to work around if you work in retail i think you would know how difficult it can be um so yeah but they are the two days that i'm trying to upload okay so the three hairstyles i'm going to show you today are very they're kind of similar but very different in different ways but I hope you enjoy it and if you do um, leave messages below of what you think of this video um, if you try any of these hairstyles out um, tag me on Instagram I'll leave that below my Instagram user thing I don't even know what it is that's really weird I think I okay I have to work that out I'm not very good with technology it's sometimes I can do but sometimes I'm like how do I do this? How do I do that? Because um, earlier I was, well, earlier this week I was making a new Facebook page and I was like, how do I log out of my old Facebook? Because you know when you're just like, yeah, it's always logged in, you don't have a problem with it. That's normally me. And then trying to log out of something, it's like, I actually don't know how to. But anyway, stop the blabbering. Let's get on with these hairstyles. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you today is super, super easy. It's kind of a half up, half down, but I like to add a twist to it. So all I'm going to do is grab half of my hair and pull it all back, like so. Um, I'm going to go to the side. Um, the trick that I have, because I have quite thin hair, and if I put all of this up, this bit's just going to look super, super thin. So actually under my ponytail, I'm actually going to take hair from under there and lay it back down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to make this bottom bit much fuller than it actually is. And now I'm going to fold it over like so. Sorry, I'm right handed, so it's super hard. Just fold it over like this. Um, and then, and then I'm going to put a hairband in it. Um, I don't like to have it that high. If you do like having it that high, great, leave it like that. What I do is loosen it up, make it a bit more puffy, and then so it like slopes down, slopes down my hair. And then because I'm not a perfectionist, I don't like to have perfect hair. I like to pull out my baby hairs, even though they are a nightmare to look after. I like to take them out. Um, I might use a bobby pin to hold that bit in place. So I'm just going to get a bobby pin. I forgot them. Because, yeah, that's a bit too much. I'm just going to pin that with a bobby pin into place. So that holds that back a bit better. Um, so yeah, this is one of my hair, one of my simple hairstyles that I like to do. So it's just a simple little half up, half down with a little bit of a, I would say it's a bun, but it's like a loose funny bun. <laughs> Let's call it that, a funny bun. Um, but sometimes what I like to do is actually get a little bit of my hair and plait it because I think it just makes it look a little bit different to what everybody does and not many people would think oh let's just do a random plait in my hair um, 
and I think spring is a great time to bring out the plaits. I love plaiting my hair in springtime. I don't know why, I just think it's kind of the right time of year to do something different like that. And now I need to go get a little clear hairband. I have not planned this video out today. I'm so sorry, I'm still poorly. My head is hurting so much. It's, yeah, not a great day in, of day. And then I'm gonna use this to just fill at the end of my hair. And then sometimes I like to just make it a little bit bigger so it just stands out a bit more. Okay, and that is it. So So that is it. I, it's kind of simple, but a bit of a twist. I love to put these in. Oh, my hairband's come out. <laughs> I love to put them in because it's kind of different. And I think it just makes it more interesting than just the normal kind of go to half up, half down. But I definitely love wearing this hairstyle in springtime. It's my favorite one or two that I go to. Um, but yeah, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up about this video. Leave any messages below about anything you want to know. I would happily answer them about this. Okay, so this second one is, again, super easy. Um, I like doing it because, again, it's taken some of my hair out of my face and makes it look quite nice because it's semi-up, but it's just so easy as well. And that's what I love about these hairstyles, that they are super easy anyone to really do on their hair because they're just plaits um, because I'm not the greatest like hairstylist person out there like I like simple I like it easy on the go I have a busy life it's super hard to try and fit things in so where I want my hair to look nice these are great for that just a quick simple beautiful hairstyle that you can just do on the go really okay so what I'm going to do is grab some hair from this side um, and I'm going to do something different because normally I would do a plait but I thought I would do split it in half and kind of twist it together the reason why I thought of doing twist is because I don't actually see many people kind of do it with a twist like they normally do a plait um and do it that way but i thought do something different twist is kind of not really what people go for so i thought i like to try different things and i really liked it with a twist i think it also helped that i was watching the hobbit i haven't actually watched that before and normally i'm really into my movies but because they're so long i can't just sit there and just watch them so i, th I saw it on there so i thought oh that looks different so I thought I'd try it out. So when I've twisted it, I'm just gonna pin it um, at the back of my head into place, like so. Um, you could leave it like this if that's kind of you, but I thought also put this side back. So again, I'm going to leave my baby hairs because I like to have them. Um, so then I'm gonna do it the same on this side of my hair. Just split it in half and twist. And again I'm going to pin that where the other one is I like them to overlap so what I'm going to do is unpin the one I've pinned up and make sure that they cross over and then I'm going to pin it with a bobby pin
And then what I'm going to do is just pull out bits of my hair that I don't like to have up and then smooth it all down. Um, what you can do is put hairspray in it, um, but I kind of don't like going to hairspray because of this time of year I don't want it to be super like um, held into place. I like it to be natural and just like flowing because spring is that kind of time of year where it is quite natural and quite like the weather's getting better but it's not super there so I kind of just like to leave it and with my hair it does stay so for me I'm happy with that but if you want to put hairspray in, in your hair to hold it in place go for it like it's a great idea so yeah this is number two um leave any message below if you like this one as well um if you do try it out let me see it I would love to see how you do it if you do a different twist to it if you're doing plaits or um a fishtail like kind of pattern into your hair great i'd love to see what you guys do with this one okay so this last hairstyle is i think one of my top favorites it's really simple i've tried it out a number of times gone out with it a lot of the time because it's I don't know, I do. I even do it at work. I really like it, it's one of my favourite. And I thought I'd show you guys what I do because, I don't know, it's, it's great, like that's it. That's all the words I've got for it is that I really like it. So what I'm gonna do is grab some hair, but I'm not grabbing this front bit. So it's like an inch back from where my hair starts. The good thing about a lot of these hairstyles is because I've dyed it and it's got highlights in, when you wrap the hair together, you get that multi-tone colour in your plaits, your twists. And I really like that. Before I had really super dull hair and I was so annoyed with it that um, I was really getting depressed over it. It made me feel old. So I'm really happy that I got my hair dyed. It took forever, but yeah, I was very happy. So now I'm going to do a twist into my hair. I'm trying to get as close to the root of my hair as possible so do it as tight as possible um, and as close as possible to the top of your hair. Okay, now I've done that, I'm not going to put anything on the end because you're not going to see it. And all I'm going to do is make this as big as possible. I really like to make it bigger because it makes your hair look thicker and it looks like you can do more with it. Because with the thinner ones I find just look like you don't have much hair to play with. And actually, this is just the greatest, easiest thing that you can do with your hair just to make it look bigger and look kind of nicer I think just kind of different um I mean yeah that's kind of that's my opinion but if you like thin ones go with the thin one um okay so now I've done that all I'm going to do is get this bit and pull the um plait back and pull this on top of it and all I'm going to do now is pin it behind my ear A lot of these designs you can put bows in your hair. I love to put bows in my hair, but my sister has stolen my ones and I don't know where she has put them. She The other day I got home from work and I was like, that's my hair, uh, my bow in your hair. And she's like, yeah, I know. And then I was like, oh, thanks. So I, I would put bows in my hair, but I have no clue where she's put them. So, and that's it. That's kind of how... I leave my hair. This is one of my favourites. It's just super easy, and just super simple to have just a plait and then I love that this bit comes over and covers it up so you don't actually notice it. So sometimes it looks like it's not actually part of your hair and it's just kind of like a hair, ba uh, hair band that you put in your hair. Um, but yeah, so I really like it. It's just super simple 
there's nothing really else to it it's just a plait and then my hair goes back but what you can also do with this one is maybe like you wanted to pull it to the side and do a bigger plait down but where my hair is quite short it doesn't look that great but if you have super long hair or longer hair than I do that would be a great twist to it if you do that please send me a picture I would love to see how it comes out because I cut off all my hair um <laughs> then I regretted it because my sister's a hairdresser so I said yeah cut it short cut it short because last time I had it quite short she goes no you're gonna hate it and she was right I hated it um so I'm now growing out my hair to be a bit longer because even though I do like it this length sometimes sometimes I would prefer it a bit longer well thanks for watching today guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up um if you haven't already subscribe to my channel like to see some other great um videos down there um i'm also doing some things with my sister and her three dogs they are nutters but they are great lovable animals that just make you laugh all the time um so yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't and have a great day don't forget to message me below if you like this video any comments that you want to leave i will get back to you on anything you want to know about these hairstyles or any questions you have just message me below and i'll get back to you well have a great day